Before you sit down with a participant to debrief the report, it's a really good idea to have understanding of the assessment experience that that leader had. Um, and even further, it's a good idea to understand the experience that the raters had because oftentimes leaders will have questions about what were they rating on and where does this information come from. So we're going to start here with the leader assessment experience. After the leader enters his or her name and some demographic information, uh, he or she is given two sections to complete. And so the first section is simply the everything disk assessment. And for each adjective, they're asked to rate on a 1 to 5 scale how often that adjective describes them. When we get to the report, their disk style is going to be used to help interpret some of that information. And so that's where this knowledge is coming from, their completion of the disk assessment in this first section. And the second section is the leadership behavior section. And this is unique to the 363. Here the leader is given 72 behaviors. And for each behavior, he or she is asked to rate how often he or she does these things. And so uh, he or she may, might be given something like propose new directions for the group. How often do I do that? And so it's a relatively simple task. The place where we'll see this information later on when we open up the report is the individual's self-rating of performance on these different behaviors. So as a whole, most leaders are reporting that the assessment process is taking them on the low end from about 10 minutes to the higher end about 20 minutes. Now with the raters portion of the assessment, their experience is in some respects the same, but there's also a little bit of a difference. But the first section that the rater will encounter is the leadership behavior section. So they'll be given 72 behaviors and asked, how often does this leader perform these behaviors? Uh, they'll have questions like, how often does this uh, leader propose new directions for the group? This is the same leadership behavior section that the leader takes. Now, the raters have a second section to their assessment that the leaders didn't have. This section, called the leadership request section, presents the rater with 24 different behaviors. So each screen has a different behavior and on that screen the rater is asked would you like to see this leader exhibit more of this behavior? And they're able to answer yes a little more, yes a lot more, or no. Based on how they answer that question they were given a, a selection of comments to choose from. And so if I had clicked above yes, a lot more, or yes, a little more, I'm going to get a different selection of comments than if I had clicked no. The rater can click as many of these as they want to, or they can click none of them. And as you look through the report, you're going to be able to see very clearly where these comments are going to show up. Primarily, they're going to be listed on pages 8 through 15, and they'll be right next to the performance data under practices. And so we get a little clearer picture of what those performance ratings mean.